Forming Earth in Deep Time The universe began about 13.5 billion years ago. At first, it was pretty much made up of just hydrogen and helium, the lightest elements. But as stars were born, grew old, and died, the heavier elements were created in supernova explosions. This happens when there is enough force to fuse subatomic particles together to make heavier atoms. Click here for video on how the elements were formed from supernovae. Our solar system began forming about 4.6 billion years ago as gravity pulled together objects out of a spinning cloud of dust, gas, and other material. That material came from a prior generation of stars which had exploded long before. About 99.9% .9 of that material formed the star that we call our sun. The remaining 0.1% formed all the rest of the planets and objects in the solar system. Earth makes up about 0.0003% of the mass of the solar system. Sweeping up all the matter that became Earth generated a huge amount of heat. The most current theory is that the last great collision was between Proto-Earth and Proto-Theia about 4.5 billion years ago. One result of that collision was the creation of orbiting matter, which became the moon. Another result was enough heat to remelt the surface of Earth down to a depth of several kilometers. The result of all of this was that Earth started out as a molten sphere of material. The densest of that material sank to the center of Earth. The least dense rose to the surface to become the Earth's crust, oceans, and atmosphere. Then, about 4 billion years ago, Earth started cooling off. Earth radiated heat into space and cooled. As the surface temperature dropped, atmosphere, oceans, and outer crust formed. These insulated Earth, slowing heat loss. Radioactive decay within Earth and heating by the sun also slowed the cooling. Until Earth had cooled off a bit, life would not have been possible. Life must be more recent than 4.5 billion years ago. The first fossil evidence of life is of bacteria from 3.8 billion years ago. There could have been earlier life, but evidence of that has not been found. Earth and the solar system formed from a cloud of matter that contained all the elements of the periodic table that are found on Earth today. Virtually all the atoms in you and in the world around us once floated through space, and most of them were once in a star. The universe began about 13.5 billion years ago. Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago. The first fossil evidence of life is from bacteria from 3.8 billion years ago. However, human history is less than 100,000 years. Time is critical for life to have developed from simple chemicals to the complex world we see around us today. The scale of time and space in the universe is almost incomprehensible to all of us. Metaphors help, but you really have to struggle to imagine deep time. So here we have the birth of the universe, here's some time, and then here we are at present day. Earth is 4.5 billion years old. The chemical processes we'll be describing have proceeded for about 4 billion years. Given an average human lifespan of 72 years, how many humans' lifetimes is that? Okay, so the number of lifetimes would be the total amount of years divided by the human lifespan. So 4 billion years divided by 72 years gives us about 56 million lifetimes. No wonder it's so hard to imagine the evolution of life. Our first records from human history are about 10,000 years old, about 140 lifetimes ago. The process of developing life started about a million times further back in time than that, the unimaginably distant past. If we think of Earth as having existed for one year, bacteria would have emerged in mid-March. All human history would have occurred in the last half second of the year. Deep time is essential to understanding the development of life. Click here for video of our world in the making.